Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, what is going on here for the Capricorn Collective? Well, there you are. Okay. Definitely could be dealing with a fellow Capricorn or Libra. We also have Fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A little bit of Earth, too. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces under the deck. I feel like someone's worried that their offer is not going to be enough. Well, let's get some clarifiers here. What's going on here for the collective? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and... Okay. Okay, wow. All right. So, we have wedding rings, which says union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. We also have here addiction, which says codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. And we have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. Under the deck here, we do also see keys on a ring, which says many options, decisions, unconventional, stringing along, or a one-night stand. It, for some of you, I mean, it could even be that this may have started as like, you know, a, a fling. Uh, not for all of you, obviously, or, you know, it was just something physical. You know, it wasn't necessarily meant to turn into something but it's getting more serious and this person definitely may be considering marriage but it could be that this person struggles some type of addiction or they have a hard time making the best of choices um this person may have even pushed you away at some point because we even have like the chaser chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues like you may feel like you're constantly chasing this person or you're the one constantly making the effort to reach out or contact them and they haven't reciprocated as much you think about them a lot you have strong feelings for them, you know, but where is this going? You need some kind of certainty and some kind of balance. Um, for some of you, it could have, for some, a handful of you, I'm talking like three of you maybe, this person could have been married to someone else, but I don't feel that for the predominant collective. I feel like this person struggles with like an addiction. Now, addictions can take many shapes and forms. Not all addictions are, you know, drugs, alcohol, gambling, um, Sometimes it can be very codependent behavior. You know, it can be that this person has people around them they don't want to let go of, maybe bad influences. Um, this person could be a workaholic. This person could be stuck in a place of ego. They could be running from their um, traumas, pains, you know, and they are masking it. And again, it can be that this person has thought a lot about trying to do better and make healthier choices. You know, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, and being happier, knowing that that is ultimately the, the goal here, to stop running, to stop fighting. But again, what I want you to see here with this eight of coins, we see someone who is here is hard at work. They're in their workshop and they are building something. And the six of wands does talk about great pride. Under that is the moon, which is insecurities, fears. The unknown. I think this person is working towards something, but they fear that it's not going to be enough. And they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid that they will not amount to enough or that, you know, they have not accumulated enough. Or they don't have the best of things. Or they cannot give you the best ring. Or they cannot give you the best home. Or they cannot give you the things that your heart desires. Or that they themselves lack um, something worthy of you. And no, that does not make it true, but they may fear it. And I feel like for some of you, you are already in disagreements. For those of you who are like, they are so confident, they're so arrogant, they're so full of themselves. Are you kidding me, mystic? They have the biggest ego on the planet. That very well may be true, but I'll give you an example. And some of you who've been here a while know what I'm going to say. Um, just like birds in the wild, you know, think about when a bird has like an injured wing or something like that, or a broken foot or something, you know, something that makes it weaker than the rest, more vulnerable to predators, okay? What does it do to overcompensate for that? 
because the other birds may pick on it. You know, um, a predator may see it as easy prey. What does it, what does it do? So it starts puffing itself up, tucking that little wing down, starts picking on the rest. It has to act big, bad, and tough because it's insecure, because it lacks something, because it doesn't have the true confidence that it needs, right? It's trying to mask those insecurities by acting tough and overly confident and arrogant, right? That's kind of the same thing. That's what I feel like here with this ego that we're dealing with. I feel like you and this person have a lot of unfinished business. I think this person does not necessarily feel worthy. They feel like you will reject them. And that's why they have like held back. So I'm actually hearing the name Mark or Marcus. Some of you may have an M name. I also had an A, like an, the letter A, like Anna or Anna. Elise, Amber, something like that. A, M, I get those strongly coming through. Um, again, that could just be for a small portion of you. With the two of wands, you see a future with this person. You're thinking about it. Some of you could be trying to predict the future. You know, we see here. You know, so we're looking at over the horizon, you know, staring into the distance, thinking about what's to come, the next choices, the next path. They have to plan for their future. Two of Wands can be a card of future planning, prediction, you know, picking flowers. He loves me, he loves me not. Consult the magic eight ball. Does she, you know, think of me, you know, ask again later, cannot predict now, that kind of thing. Consulting readers, that kind of situation. Um, in this person's energy, we see justice. So justice is about what's right and balance, what's fair. And it feels like this person struggles. You know, I love this deck. Some of you may have saw my post, but this deck holds a very special place in my heart. It was my very first deck, and um, it is my favorite. I'm going to get emotional. But I, I love how they depict the cards here. We see the justice, which is all about balance. Now here we see this angel who is trying her best to keep the scales balanced. But we have an angel on one side. And we have a, a demon or the, on the other side, right? And so it's like this push and pull from trying to do the right thing. This person may struggle with some type of toxicity. Like the angel on their shoulder, the devil on their shoulder. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or a restraint. Healthy choices. Now, what's, what's between you with the devil? It's obsession and fear. You both think of each other constantly. You feel bound to each other. You cannot escape it. No matter how far you go, you feel this person and they feel you. But you may feel that this person has things that they need to overcome. The obstacle, the challenge being the Queen of Wands could suggest that there is a woman present who is blocking the connection. This, this does not necessarily have to be a, you know, a physical woman. Uh, for some of you, it could be. It could be like a mother... Um, an ex, you know, a, a spouse for some of you, a sister, someone who has an influence. Uh, Queen of Wands also can talk about um, temptations, a temptress, right? So it can be many things, however that resonates for you. Impulse control. It can be that this person wanted you to be the mistress or the other woman or they... Um, Or they, um, hmm. couldn't help but be like drawn to you because you made them feel alive. You know, it's like you were a drug to them. Oh, no, that cheesy line, Twilight. I'm not a Twilight hater, I'm just not a, a super fan. Um, you're my own personal brand of heroin. Yeah, that's kind of the, like, they were drawn to you. It's like they were, you were like this, um, Mm. like you were this band-aid for them in a way it's like you just made them feel alive in ways that nothing else could you know they couldn't let you go even if they felt they were not in the best place again I feel like there's something about no matter how hard this person works they feel like they don't amount to enough 
if they don't have enough to offer, there's been a lot of challenges in the past. We see Knight of Cups here, and so this person does think of you romantically, they think about dating you, being with you, expressing their feelings and their heart to you. But let's obviously get deeper clarification. Why is the Knight of Cups here? And this person's thoughts about you. Well, maybe maybe they feel that you have choices, or they haven't decided yet yet how to approach you. They're at a distance. You're at a distance from each other. They have not decided how to approach you or when to approach you. But they do think about you. They think about. They recognize their love for you, but they feel for some reason conflicted, like they're still struggling or they don't know how to overcome all the challenges in their life. Okay, yeah. Again, how do, there's uncertainty. Libra, Pisces, Cancer. There's uncertainty. I don't know how to come to you. I don't know if you... I don't know how you would receive it. They're kind of like fighting their emotions because they're afraid that you will reject them. This person feels like maybe they've done you wrong in the past or they've given a lot of big signals. And, you know, you may be at a place where you're much more stable and more balanced than they are. And they don't know if you're willing to try it again, but they can't stop thinking about you. They feel bound to you no matter how far they go, no matter how much distance or time passes. They feel stuck on you. Uh, so as far as intentions, they want to make an offer to you, but they're afraid that you will not reject it because maybe you already have enough. Maybe you have other suitors or something. Um, what are their intentions? Well, this could be unexpected. They are just kind of deciding to, you know, that they will unexpectedly pop in and say something, Scorpio energy, and just offer it anyway, and just let whatever happens, happens, you know, and just see what you say, because we see this person making an offer to you. This is communication about what? About what? Oh, they're being clear. They're not holding any secrets back. They're being very direct and very honest about the future and their feelings and the past, even like bringing clarity, telling you that they have taken a lot of time to think and reflect and work on themselves. That they are more, they're waiting to be more stable or something. They're getting themselves together. And I mean, ultimately, you have free will. You get to choose, you get to decide. Nobody can make choices or decisions for you. So let's see what messages come through in regards to this connection. We have finances. Look at that. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Like I said, there's something about this person, like being hard at work and feeling like it's just not enough. That maybe some of them have actually overcome some kind of addiction or issue in their life or made some kind of major change or left a karmic relationship or left a uh, job or something. And now they don't financially have enough to, they're get, to get back on their feet. They're just working towards that goal. Um, you know, for instance, if this person got a divorce or something or moved out, you know, it could be that this person is trying to get back on their feet, you know, that they may have to pay a spa an ex or something or child support or um, start a new job or new business. And it is challenging financially, especially to today's day and age. Um, things are crazy. Don't even get me started on egg prices, all right? <laughs> time apart, some distance will help bring clarity. Like I said, this this time apart for the two of you has given both of you a lot of time to think and reflect and for this person to work on themselves. They want to prove themselves to you. Okay, we have strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. That may be part of it. This person, yeah, longing, secretly yearning for you. It may be that in the beginning, this started as something physical, and this person did not expect it to, to add up to more. You know, they didn't think that something would progress, but it did. And they know that you deserved better in the past, and that's maybe why you're done with it, or you're over it. I mean, ultimately, it's up to you what you want to do with this situation, but this person will be trying to, to set the record straight and get, get clear with you and provide you with clarity and answers that you've been seeking. It's just really going to be up to you if you want to pursue it. So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you who do generously send in donations. It is truly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.